Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, we are going to see TCS Smart Hiring Interview Experience. This is one of the latest interview experience shared by one of the candidates who have attempted their interviews. Okay. So in this video, we are going to see their experience and we are also going to see all the tech and HR questions that were asked to them. Make sure to watch the video till complete and as it is going to be super helpful for you if you are also going to attempt your TCS Smart Hiring Interview soon. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on a regular basis. Also, if you are finding this video helpful, please do write the word helpful in the comment section. With that, I get to know how many of you are watching it and I can post more such content for you. Guys, if you are not aware, I have a complete playlist on DCS Smart and Ignite Prep. Make sure to check this playlist. You will find a lot of interview experiences in this playlist. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the first question that was asked to the candidate. So the first question as always was tell me about yourself. Okay. So here are a few top tips for you, like what you should include in your, like, you know, introduction. Okay. Because you should not think like, you know, I will directly speak the, like, you know, <clears throat> introduction then and there itself. It should not be like that. You should always prepare your introduction beforehand so that when you will speak, you will not short, uh, fall short of words. Okay. So some tips are that you have to keep it technical and under two minutes technical as in you should include details like your projects. Okay. Then your like skill sets. Okay. And then whatever like, you know, educational details. So these things you should talk about it. Okay. And if you have good percentage marks, uh, like, you know, in your 10th, 12th and graduation, you can tell the percentage also. Otherwise you can just tell from where you have done and in what course you have done your education. Next is you have to mention your degree college and core uh, language skills. Next is this thing, highlight project details. Okay. This is very important because with that you are telling the interviewer indirectly that please ask me questions on this topic. Okay. And then code ratings. Now this might not be relevant for everyone, but for those like, you know, candidates who like to do extra coding. So then they can mention that some uh, extra other things also, which you find that is relevant in your case, you can mention that. Okay. And if there is any achievement which you like to share with them, you can mention that also in your introduction. So let's see one of the like sample answers. So I'm a re recent graduate in, you can say like BCA from this college with a strong interest in software development and coding. During my academics, I worked on multiple projects using technologies like Java, Python and SQL. I enjoy problem solving and learn new tech and I'm looking forward to apply my skills in a real world environment. Okay. So you also have to prepare it, uh, your introduction in this way. Now make sure that your introduction is around 30 to 50 seconds long and not more than that at max, you can take it, you can make it like 60 seconds. Okay. Because if you over speak also, that also doesn't give a very good impression and that might uh, like, you know, because of which the interviewer might not have much time left to ask you other questions. Okay. Because they have like dedicated time assigned to them. So they also have to complete their own questions. So yeah, take care of these steps and prepare your introduction. Well, next is brief about your project. Okay. So this, this, this question can be asked a lot of times. Okay. Even in your interview, you can get this question. So some of the tips, how you can answer this question is first of all, you should know ins and outs about your project. Okay. Even though it, if it was a part of like, you know, group project, you should know whatever is there, whatever is done in your project, because any cross questioning can happen. Second point is explain modules or technologies that you have used in your project. You should be ready for that. Don't get nervous. Whatever they ask, just try to answer with confidence because most of the time they are not even considering whatever you are answering. Their main focus is on your confidence level and how are you answering those questions. Next up we have be honest if it is from GitHub or YouTube, but show understanding. Now, you know, guys, uh, like I get this a lot of queries that sir, like, you know, we have not created any project. So how we can answer this question. So guys, see, uh, even though you have not created your project, but you should have some data, which you can speak in such a way so that it looks like that you have created a project. Okay. So you have to like be smart enough to create the content in such a way that you have the knowledge of whatever you are saying, because see, no one is going to ask you to showcase something, right? Because not all the projects are like uh, hostable. So it's not possible for you to show them whatever your project is, right? But whatever they will ask is orally only. So you should be ready enough. So whatever they ask, you should be ready enough to answer that. Okay. Let's see one of the sample answer. I built an e-commerce website using react and node.js. I was responsible for implementing user authentication, product listing and payment integration. I had handled API connection with MongoDB. Now guys, for example, in this introduction, uh, sorry, in this sample answer only, if you see, we are using a lot of techn technology names, like, you know, uh, react js node js and then apis okay api connection mongodb 
Okay, so they can ask a lot of cross question based on this answer what you are giving. Okay, they can ask you what is React JS, what is Node JS, what is MongoDB, how did you set up your API connection, how did you did the payment integration. So that's why I am saying whatever you are saying, you should have thorough knowledge of it. Okay, moving on. What challenges did you face during your project? Okay, so let's see the tips for this answer. You can mention the real problems like time management, debugging or team coordination. You can mention all these types of problems or you can mention some technical, actual technical problems that you might have faced. But make sure that whatever you are saying is understandable by them. Because you know sometimes what happens is uh, like for example, you have actually created a project and your problem was actually big enough. But you are not able to you know explain it properly and then it is creating a lot of chaos during the interview and you know the interviewer is also not understanding what you are trying to say but you are trying your best to say so don't even like you know touch those topics where you feel that you know i might not be able to explain it properly just skip that part okay so you that is why it is very important that you should be pre-prepared okay that if this question comes what will i say if that question comes what will i say in that case okay Moving on, reflect what you have learned. Okay, so you can mention that after creating this project, uh, I have learned this and these things. What was your learnings basically? Okay, so all that you can mention. Let's see some one sample answer for this one. Initially, integrating the payment gateway was challenge. I had issues with sandbox testing and JSON data passing, but I resolved it by reading documentation and testing with Postman. So guys, see in this way, uh, you can also give your answer in a technical way, but or otherwise you can give your this behavioral types of uh, like you know. Uh, issues that you had uh, problems like time management, team debugging and team coordination and all the of that. So yeah, it's your choice. Next question is different between Next.js and Node.js. So guys, I told you right uh, that based on the technologies or the skills that you mentioned in your answer, you will get further questions on that. Okay. So see, the answer for this question is Next.js is basically a React framework for front end, which is uh, hang which is responsible for you know routing and all those things and next is node.js node.js is a backend runtime environment now your sample answer can be like next.js is a react based framework used to build front end apps and server side rendering node.js on the other hand is a javascript runtime used to build server side apps like apis now guys you don't have to get overwhelmed by seeing this question that okay oh this question came for this guy like next.js and node.js just understand this thing that this question was asked to that guy because he had the knowledge of front-end and you know front-end frameworks because he have worked on, on that technologies and those projects that is why i'm saying in the same way whatever you mention based on that you will get questions now you know uh, a lot of times it also happens that you will not even get any technical questions only majority of the questions will be hr questions and then your interview will be done so it totally depends on like you know interview panel that what kinds of questions you will get okay Let's see the next question. Again, as you know, OOPS is one of the most important topic. I would highly recommend you to check that video, which I have uploaded in that playlist on OOPS. Make sure to check it. It will be very helpful for you. Just within 15 minutes of video, you will get the complete understanding of OOPS concepts and all the questions that can come to you on OOPS, you will be able to answer them. So, so the question is abstraction. So what you have to do is you have to define abstraction and if possible, you have to give a real world example. Let's see the sample answer. Abstraction means hiding internal implementation and showing only the essential features a real world example for abstraction is your atm machine how it uh, like how it is an example of abstraction is basically users interact with the buttons right and not the backend logic because there is a setup right in front of the user not everything is visible to the user so they they are only like interacting with the buttons and the things which are for them and the backend is kind of hidden so that is what is abstraction okay next up we have questions on sql joins let's see the answer for this one so you should you know uh, you should know what is inner join left join and right join if you get questions on sql join you should explain these types of joins and you sh uh, if for example first of all they won't make you write the queries but if required you can speak the query orally or you can you know say it orally but chances are very high they won't ask you the query in that uh, like you know interview but it's still for your like you know understanding i have written a query on the screen you can see select orders dot order id customers dot customer name from orders left join customers on orders dot customer id is equals to customers dot customer id so basically this was a question based on sql joins let's see the next question are you comfortable working in night shifts or weekends so you can say yes i am comfortable with working in night shifts and weekends if required okay so you should always say yes to this question you should not say no because they are checking your mental bandwidth are you even ready to go beyond ex uh, like you know beyond your capabilities for the company or not 
Nobody is going to make you work on night shifts if you say this answer as yes. Okay, just understand that. Next is next question was, do you have any plans for MCA or higher studies? Because see, the candidate was from a BCA background, so this question came to them. Okay, that do you have any plans for higher studies or MCA or masters or anything? Now, guys, this can this is a very, there is a very high chance that you can also get the exact same questions about doing masters. Okay, but you should understand that you should always say no. Okay, say no plans even if you have. Exact like final plans with you, but never say that yes, I have plans. Okay, you should always say no, I don't have any plans, and you should sh show that you are completely focused on getting this job, and you are your current focus is completely on this placement. Okay, why I'm saying that because if you say that yes, you are interested, so then it will get a bad impression in their mind. They will think that okay, this candidate is already like going to go for. Like you know, masters. So why like you know waste one seat? Let's not select them and select someone else who is interested in this job and who will do this job in the longer run. So that is why you have to understand that you should never say that I have any plans. Okay, you should always say that no. Currently, I am focused on starting my career and gaining real world experience in the corporate or something like that. Moving on. Next question is tell me something about your internship if applicable. Now see, in this case, the guy had done the internship, so that is why like uh, this question was asked. Now, some tips for answering this question is share what you have learned during your internship. Even if if it is was a virtual internship, also you can mention that if you have done any course apart, like you know, instead of internship, you can talk about that, and you can talk about the tools or technologies that were used in your internship or course, whatever you have done. Some sem one sample answer is during my internship at X Y Z Tech, I worked on a bug fixing on a React project. I learned about component lifecycle and collaborated using GitHub. So in this way, you can answer it. Moving on. Now, guys, we have seen a lot of questions and the complete experience of this candidate. Some final tips from my end for like all the candidates who are going to appear for your like interviews. Make sure that your resume is clean and matches your skills. Whatever you know is only mentioned in that. And in the same way, your introduction is also prepared in the same way. Okay, you should revise your OOPS, DBMS, basic DSA and HR related questions because that will be very helpful. Stay calm and confident during the interview. Even if you don't know any answers, try to answer with confidence. Okay. And don't waste time. Like just be confident and keep a good smile on your face. If you copy projects, at least understand them thoroughly. Okay, copying is not a problem. But the thing is, you have to understand whatever you are speaking. Okay, you should not look like to them that you have not done anything and you are just saying random things. Okay, so guys, I hope you have got it. And if you have any more doubts, please put them in the comment section. I will try to answer all of your queries. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you do, please give it a like. If you have any more doubts, please drop them in the comment section. You can also join me on Telegram and follow me on Instagram as well. You can ask your queries over Instagram DM too. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates on notification whenever I upload a new video. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video.